Are we ready? But before we start, what do you guys think about this? Just let me know your opinions right now. Stop the video. Go have a look. I don't know which way you like it better. <laughs> it's probably the red. The but but I want I want your honest opinion. You what do you think about this? I think it's amazing and it's super cool. Oh, let me show you one more. But I, I want to know your opinion. So this video, while Riley goes gets another one, this video is about the zero. This is your zero update. I finally got circuit boards and I've been printing boxes and I got I got Where's a lot to update one? you about and so here's the, here's the other one she just did today. I still want to know about the first one. This one's really good, but for some reason that one's really neat. Yeah. So anyway, this video is about the zero. We're gonna get you guys involved, show you what we've been doing. Th this one. And Riley's been helping me with some stuff. I think I'm gonna focus on the circuit board for this video. In the next video I'll show you about weird stuff like why there's a weird looking thing on the seat right there. But let's bring you over here. Actually, I'll show you this first. So check it out. This is the box. What's up, everybody? My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. I don't think I said that, and I know I have to. It's my thing. I didn't even know I'd do it. Anyway, this right here is a box that I printed and legitimately ran out of filament a millimeter from the top. It's just missing the very top edge. Very disappointed. But it's okay because I ended up having to cut these and manipulate this and I, I had to change a few things anyway. So it's totally acceptable. This is ABS, it's pretty strong. I can use this as a test fit now. See if the circuit board fits. It does. So anyway, I made the circuit boards in a hurry. Here they are. It's just a simple board. Woo, focus, focus. It's a simple board, really easy. So we're gonna put all the components on this, but look at this. Oh, I, uh, yeah, I'll explain that in a minute. So, check this out. I have been driving the Zero just like this, with wires dangling everywhere. It legitimately looks like as close as you're gonna get to the Back to the Future Part 3, where he's gotta strap the old circuits on the front of the hood, man. It's, it's legitimately scary and actually if any one of these wires failed the whole thing could just may leave me stranded and there was a day where the throttle came off and really messed me up but I was able to uh, literally use this to turn me on and off to get me home it was it was sketchy but check this out since I actually have been logging miles look at that 791 miles with the front hanging off like this and going and going like this all the way down the road I mean it's legitimately zip tied onto the front okay it's hilarious so anyway that's great I know this works so the idea here is to take this cord unplug this adapter right here and do 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 take this board put it in the finished box down in the bottom and the plug fits into the bottom right here and we plug it in. So all of these electronics, all of the pieces and parts that are on this board are going to be on this board. Now this board fits really nicely inside this box, just like that. And then the beagle bone fits on top of that and the plug sticks out of the bottom like that. And that's it, so I'm really excited, but you know what? I rode this for 791 miles, and actually a little more. There was a couple days where the phone, uh, I left it on and I killed it and it didn't boot up, so I just drove it without it. So it's actually a little bit more, but look, here's the craziest thing. Out of everything, out of all the manipulation and things and crazy stuff I did, and the, the uh, this thing here, which most of you had no idea why I was doing that, dude, skateboard wheels are the best! It has no signs of wear at all. And I put the new tires on there. Oh, and I put this on here, which you haven't seen. I added a, a pipe right here that holds it, that goes down. Uh, actually, can't see it's right there. I hope this footage isn't too crazy for you. This allows me to bring my lunch, because again, I'm driving this to work. That's my goal. So out of everything I manipulated and rewired and changed and fixed, the only issue, legitimately the only issue that I had is one that I never would have thought about. Do you know what it was? The melting. 
What melted? Oh no, was it melting or was it you couldn't see because of the sun? What about the sun? What'd the sun do? It melted something. It overheated? Circuit board. No. The phone. Yeah! <laughs> it overheated the phone! The only issue I had was the sun baking the phone and overheating the phone. This was in the middle of summer when it was like 120 degrees outside. Yes. And the sun would hit this and it would overheat the phone. It's an older generation phone, so it probably overheats even faster than the newer one, but it overheated. So I thought to myself, how can I possibly put cooling inside this box? I'm going to have no room. Well, it turns out I have a lot more room in here than I thought. So what we got, hi, what we got right here is a Pelter cooler. And I have a fitted, a fixed, a fitted, fixed in, I don't know. Anyway, I had a fixed this Pelter cooler, which I'll show you better later, right in that box. Can you grab that box for me, the black one? Thank you. So this gets mounted right here actually this way with the wires going in so this gets mounted right here like that it fits perfectly in between there and I'm gonna put a block of aluminum in here that's gonna wick out heat from the inside and it's actually the front's actually attached to this aluminum frame and I can put a heat sink up here and so it's like super duper cool and I'm super happy about trying to find a way to wick out the heat now since it cooled down even with the sun baking it it didn't have a problem. But I just never would have, I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed. Would you have guessed? You don't know the simple things. It, it's the most simple like thing that I put on this thing and it gave me the fits. I didn't even make it. Apple did. Thanks, Apple. Anyway, I can't believe it overheated. So it's, it's bizarre. Everything else has been beautiful. So, yep, I'm going to switch all these electronics over and see how it goes. Wish me luck. Fun nails. She said, you like my fun nails? Halloween time. <laughs> That's cool. Very spooky. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got the box out. I just want to kind of show you what it looks like. So the back is for the Pelcher cooler. This is the final version. It's a different plastic, so it was a different color. Uh, you know, it happens. So the way that this fits together is these, uh, this way, these fit right on top of here, and then I can put a little rubber seal in here inside that lip or whatever I want to do but it just sits together like that and there are four screws in the bottom which go all the way to the top here and thread into these four holes and then uh, the beagle bone and everything gets inside this guy and mounts in here from the front with a front plate this is the original front plate that was on the zero but I'm gonna make a new front plate that houses the proper aluminum block that when you tighten the box down the block will attach to the back of the phone as well as to the front side of the um, the processor on this guy. This guy gets pretty warm for some reason, it just does. So look at all these electronics. All that nonsense, all those pieces and that crazy stuff. And by the way, I've had to re-solder all these joints over and over and over because while I've been driving down the road they've vibrated loose. Remember those tiny little teeny tiny little wire connections that I soldered there um, but it did work pretty well so all of this okay is going to fit on this board this board is actually way oversized it's not complex or a compactly laid out so anyway uh, let's get to it It's very late. So, here it is. Highlighted everything. I guess I did do that. I need to mark that off. Riley helped me. That was nice of her. So she helped me. Mark that off. What else? That's it. Everything except for the wires and plugs. We got everything highlighted as checked off. Here is the board. Yes. 
I soldered this connector on the wrong side. What a silly, silly, dumb mistake. It's fine. When I pulled it out, I actually ripped some of the through holes. I had to make sure it got soldered to the back. Oh, oh. even guys like me who, you know, think they know what they're doing most of the time still make mistakes. It happens. So anyway, that's the board though. And look at this. I even went and double checked this one time. I put the relay. I inverted the. Th it's on the wrong side. What an idiot! It's okay. It still fits. And this relay doesn't even fit. I had to make it fit. Some days I wonder why I get anything done because I actually really, really, really rushed getting this done. I have so much going on that I just hurried through it, screwed it up. But I'm fairly confident the circuit itself's not messed up. I just messed up some of the hole placements. Um, this is, yeah, the pad was too small for that guy. Even though I looked it up and got the right pad, it still didn't quite fit. Or if it does fit, it didn't look like it fit well. This chip turned out nice. Soldered really nicely. Hello? Guess I can't get that close. Anyway, that's the board. It does fit nicely in the box. My screw holes line up. My plug lines up. So I'm probably going to end up putting a like a seal something around this plug. That way nothing can get in there. But uh, yeah, it fits. And then of course I have to finish putting all this in here. So the big old bone's going to sit on top of some standoffs like this. And then uh, all these wires, they go down there to those pins that are not connected or anything. So I'll take all these plugs, figure out where they go, solder them all in there. Then I can still unplug and replug and connect everything. And then of course the Peltier cooler is going to go in here. Oh, that, fit, that fits so nice. The wires go on the inside. Then I can seal that up. And uh, actually this right here, this little board, let me show you what this is. So this is a voltage controlled current limiting uh, LED driver. So I don't, these things will handle like 10 amps. I'm not going to be doing 10 amps. I'm going to be doing about two at maximum, probably one, one and a half. It's just enough to get the heat out. That's all I need is just to soak some of that heat out. So I put this little driver in here and I added some extra resistors you can see right there and that's added current limiting so anyway that's what you get that's what I did that's what I'm doing I'm it's actually really late I stayed up way too late getting this done but I soldered that connector on backwards boogered me so I will verify that the pinout is correct and then we can uh, install this with of course our wires get that mounted in here nicely and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with the Peltier and the aluminum block and how I got to machine something and make all that fit nice. I have to draw it up in CAD. There's still a lot to do, but I don't think um, this will cause us any problems if we go ahead and do this. I am a... Oh boy, I just threw it on the ground. I am a little worried about this guy getting fairly warm um, and being in a closed space. So I should probably finish the aluminum block before I call this one good and actually fired up but I'll test it we'll go from there anyway cannot believe I put that connector on backwards it's good I tested a few of the ones I pulled out it's fine I put extra solder on the bottom and then when I heated it up it soldered it to the other side where it was supposed to be so there's still a through hole everything's still connected correctly but I just can't believe I did that okay I'll see you guys uh, in the next one, I think I will call this good. This is probably long enough. We'll call this part whatever. I don't even know what number it is. Peace and love. God bless. Read the Bible more. I'm going to go get some sleep after I shower. Bye.